Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces and today I'm going to do a video on my top 5 80s movies. Welcome back. Now this is one of the hardest videos uh, to put together. Now we cannot deny the fact that the 80s produced some of the best movies of all time and some of them still today stand the test of time. So trying to squeeze five has been a very hard task. Now this is my opinion obviously so I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what is your favourite 80s movies or even your top 5 if you want now I could have easily done a top 20 or a top 10 it would have been a very long video I, didn't, I don't want to drag it out too long so I thought I'd just do 5 and I'll give some mentions to others as well um, I will probably forget a few but there were so many great movies in, in that era of the 80s that there's just too many to list so I'm going to start with number 5 Ghostbusters so Ghostbusters recently has been getting quite a lot of flat as a franchise because last year in 2016 um, they did a, a remake, is it a remake, is it, who knows what it was but Ghostbusters came out last year and it featured uh, four girls. I've seen it, I thought it was okay. Now if you're a big Ghostbusters fan of the original from 1984 and then obviously the sequel a few years later. I think you'll probably be quite pissed about the one that came out last year. Um, it bombed at the box office pretty bad. Hey ho, but this is number five. This is the 80s version, obviously, we're talking about. Um, you know, four guys get together free, and then a the fourth one get together to battle out against ghosts. I don't need to tell you the story. Everyone knows about Ghostbusters. Um, but that's my number five movie. Number four, an American werewolf in London. Now, I thought I'd try, I wanted to try and mix up my top five because I didn't want it to be all, you know, science fiction or all horror or all, you know, monsters or anything like that. I thought, let's mix it up a little bit. And this is probably my favorite horror film of all time. Um, growing up, I was fascinated by werewolves. I don't know why. Um, and obviously this film came out in 1981 I think and the effects for that period um, were pretty good to be honest with you if you haven't seen it check it out if horror films aren't your film and you're gonna get scared don't bother um, but the story was quite I found the story quite good as well there's been a lot of werewolf films out since that just don't cut it there's some pretty shocking ones um, I can't think of any to name but some people say Dog Soldiers was a, was the effects were quite good, but um, not a great story. And there's been many more. Um, and then let's not talk about films like Twilight, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, number four is American Werewolf in London. Great film. If you ain't seen it, I recommend it. Number three, Rocky Three. Now I've got the Rocky anthology there, um, but number three is my favourite. Number four was good as well with Dolph Lundgren, but number three is my favourite. Um, the whole Eye of the Tiger thing, I think, caught a lot of people, and it's just a great film with Mr. T as Clubber Lang, and then obviously Hulk Hogan's got an appearance in it as Thunder Lips. Um, the whole, you know, from nothing, from amateur to um, superstar as such. Many films have tried to do the same thing as what Rocky did, but you know it's gonna go down as one of the greatest um, series franchises even perhaps in, of all time I loved it I still do but number three is my favorite so that's number three number two is Robocop uh, I haven't actually got a copy of Robocop here funny enough but I did have it God knows what happened to it um, part man part machine all cop uh, it's definitely one of my greatest films. I loved it. Thinking about it now, Robocop came out in 1987, so I would have been like four. I can't remember the first time I watched it, but 
everyone knows if you were born in the 80s you knew things were different then you were able to watch horror films and that when you was quite young it's not as bad as it is now where you know I'm not saying it's wrong for kids of 10 to not watch a film that's 15 but back then you know I used to watch programs like V and with my dad and that and it was quite acceptable in the 80s so I don't know how old I was when I first watched Robocop but Robocop's quite gory um, the effects for 1987 I think are pretty good very good storyline like a, it's not everyone's cup of tea a lot of films ain't everyone's cup of tea but I thought it was great they remade it three four years ago was it don't do it stop doing it Hollywood stop remaking films please just make sequels or something uh, anyway so Robocop is number two and number one is Gremlins and that is correct people a VHS you see there Gremlins is my number one and for all of you that know me you know I've got a huge collection of Gremlins memorabilia why I don't know Gremlins came out a year after I was born I think when I was younger I was actually scared of Gremlins so the fear ended up turning into a fascination into an obsession the rest is history um, a lot of films you know in the 80s kind of tried to do the whole little monster thing there was critters which I thought was quite a good film. You had Ghoulies. I think there was one called Hobgoblins and it started going on and on. Um, but Gremlins is by far the best one. Um, great storyline. Gremlins 2 didn't live up to expectations. A lot of people thought it was too humorous and not uh, there wasn't enough horror. And now they're talking about Gremlins 3. So if it happens, let's hope they do a good job of it. Um, there's a lot of other films I'd like to mention that Obviously, I could only fit five in, so I've had to fit five in. So, some other films I'd like to mention that, are, that would have made certainly a top 10 or a top 20. Um, Terminators 1, Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1984, I think that was. Uh, Predator, there's, there's so many. Return of the Jedi, Beetlejuice, Never Ending Story. And then you've got cult classics like Stand By Me. You know, Goonies, The Lost Boys, Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, you know, the list is endless for 80s movies. But I had to squeeze five and I wanted it to be a bit of a mix up. I didn't want to do all cult classics. I didn't want to do, you know, um, a top 10 because the video would have gone on. If I had done a top 20, I'd have been here forever. So I just thought I'd do a little quick, quick video. I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to do, you know, top five. Um, 90s movies I'll probably do, you know, top 5 80s cartoons, top 5 90s cartoons, I'll just do them. But remember, these are my personal opinion. I'd love to know what your top 80s film was. Like I said, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can catch us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, Pizarro's Pieces. Until next time, guys, take care.